The first thing I did when I went back to Las Vegas was I went to Cafe Espresso Roma, my favorite hangout in Las Vegas. I moved into some apartments behind Cafe Roma called the Living Desert. Basically, that's a five minute walk from my from my front door to Cafe Roma. So I just hang out there all the time. You know, I'd like pick up the local rags like uh, Scope Magazine, hang out, have coffee and meet people and stuff. So there was a big concentration of people that were involved in the scene living in that area. So you weren't always necessarily just, you know, playing music or writing poetry or whatever is you're doing. We'd all be hanging out together in that area. It was almost, uh, I wouldn't say a commune, but it was definitely a community. I think one of the reasons why so many people were living in that area, it's like the same thing that happened in New York in the 70s in that whole blighted area. It was, it was cheap. It was cheap for artists to live there. And that was the same thing that was going on in Las Vegas. It's like it was it was cheap to live there. It was close enough to the necessities that you could walk to because a lot of people didn't drive. And like I said, there was a certain sense of community. It's like everybody was actually friends and stuff. There was no, I'm better than you or my band's better than you or da 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 da. It's like everybody was there to support each other. Mm -hmm.